wanted to show a no need bread recipe and this is extremely simple and as the name implies there is no kneading in this bread three cups of flour and i have one and a half cups of whole grain flour and also one and a half cups of white bleached flour and so you just put this in your bowl and I'm mixing it together since I have two different flours in here. Then you need one and a half cups of lukewarm water. You'll pour that in. I got a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of quick rise yeast that's going to go in this. And two teaspoons of kosher salt that I'll add to it going to mix it up and it's going to be actually kind of a wet dough I have a longer rise time on this three to six hours on your rise time you can also put this in the refrigerator with some saran wrap on it let it rise overnight in the refrigerator and fix it the next day if you want so we got this mixed up and like i said that's all it takes it's a you don't have to knead it you don't have to over mix it this is what's called an artisan bread, which just means a handmade bread, and it's very, uh, it's a very wet, sticky dough. So we're going to put saran wrap over this, put it on the stove, and just let it, let it sit there and rise. We'll come back later to make our um, bread with so it. We let our dough rise, and now we're going to form it into a loaf. And to do that, we have a piece of parchment paper and we have flour on it. So we're gonna just form this into a ball and we're gonna put it on our parchment paper and let it rise on our parchment paper for an hour before we put it in the Dutch oven. Now, one thing about no knead bread is that the gluten is formed in it through the slow rising process. So we're gonna let it sit another hour here, let it rise here, put it in the Dutch oven and bake it when we do that we'll have a lid on it for 45 minutes the first 45 minutes of cooking this will be cooked with the lid on it that helps moisture to form inside there and that helps your dough to rise also but another thing it does is forms a a crusty um, crust on the outside a really crispy crusty outside and which gives a crunch when you eat it thing with bread you can check the internal temperature, and if it's 200 degrees, your bread is done. So we're going to let this sit for another hour and let it continue to rise. Okay, I'm going to, I've got my hot pan here, and it's really warm. And I'm going to put some grits in the bottom of it. And what this will do is help it not to stick to the bottom of my pan. Just sprinkle those around in there. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to turn my bread over into this. So, okay, I got my bread turned over into it. And now I'm going to score it. I'm just using a pair of scissors to cut into it to score it so it can expand. And now what I'll do is I'm going to put the, the lid back on this and I'm going to put it back in the... I'm putting it in an outside wood oven. If you're doing it in the house, just put it in your, your oven. You start off at 450 in your oven and you cook it with the lid on for 30 minutes. And then for the last 15 minutes of cooking, you take the lid off of it. Um, 200 to 210 degrees is going to indicate that it's done with a instant probe thermometer.